Hey guys, welcome back to our expedition mode on Euro 2012. My name's Toba Loco. Welcome back to part 10. Now, part 10, I've decided is just going to be for the sole purpose of trying to get Ronaldo. We've already unlocked Portugal's group, as you may know. However, we need to get to Portugal. So um, basically, we're already in Denmark. So we'll have to play Cyprus or Iceland again. However, before we play Portugal and um, try and get there players Croatia have one more game to be played and of course that game is the starting 11 game so Croatia have given us a couple of problems in the past uh well the previous part and um well if we beat them again we can get a starting 11 player from Croatia so that could be Modric and that would be sensational if we can get Luka Modric here we go then the final match against Croatia trying to get they're one of their best players, and of course, I'm hoping for Modric, but I wouldn't mind someone like uh, Mandzukic, maybe, or, you know, one of the defenders, like Shieldenfield or um, Shaw Luka. I wouldn't mind that, because they're quite high-rated players. Or Serna. Serna would be pretty good. Benzema. And I'm allowed to just go on through here. And Benzema scored. That was terrible defending by Croatia. I was expecting them to come at me and um, tackle me. But look at number three. He's just like, nah, I'll let you jog away. It's like, okay, dude. Like, th that was really weird. Okay, it's 1-0. Croatia have a corner just before half time. What can they do with this play? It's crossed in. And, oh, they got it. Oh, good save. Okay, right. I don't know why my players just didn't go towards the ball, but that was a lucky save. Uh, come on, stop Croatia. Oh, wow, that was kind of close. Good save by Carrasso. I couldn't even tackle him there. I went for the slide, completely missed it. And then, yeah, Carrasso had to bail me out. Well, I think this game is only going to end a 1-0, but that's fine. We're still going to get the starting 11 player from Croatia. And hopefully it was worth the effort because that game was a little bit boring. All right, so Croatia have been defeated three times. Let's see who we get then. Who is it going to be? Oh, Pletikosa. I mean, okay, you know, that's not that bad. Um, oh, is he better than Courtois, though? I mean, he is slightly better. So, let's start our quest for Ronaldo. As you can see, we can't immediately play Portugal because we're currently in Denmark in this group. So, we have to go down to Cyprus, I believe, to play him for a third time and then go to Portugal and play Portugal twice, which is a bit irritating, but I'll do it anyway. So in order to get to Portugal, we have to play Cyprus again. And um, if we beat Cyprus, we get a starting 11 player from Cyprus. Might not be the best, obviously, but you never know. It might be someone half decent. Karim Benzema to Rooney. Benzema. The shot has rolled in in the fifth minute and Cyprus are already 1-0 down. There we go. Nice one by Benzema. And that is 1-0. It's going to be a corner to Cyprus early in the game. Already 1-0 down. What can they do? It's headed and blocked by our defence. But Cyprus are trying. They're trying to spoil the chance to go to Portugal and get Ronaldo. Surely we have to get Ronaldo from the uh, first 11 game against Portugal. Surely we do. If you don't, then that is an absolute joke. Because... You know, surely that'll be one of the selling points of the whole DLC is to get Ronaldo. Benzema, and it rolls in again for 2-0. Just a little bit too easy here for Loco FC. 2-0. Cyprus go for it. It goes wide just before the halftime mark. And at halftime, it is 2-0 to Loco FC. Benzema with both goals. Crossed in by Cyprus and... Oh, it's a penalty. Vincent Company has somehow given away a penalty to Cyprus. Okay. All right. Well, Ocas has the chance to get one back. What can he do? Down the middle. And um, Ocas has scored the penalty. Okay. So Benzema. Can he get his hat trick against Cyprus? He can. He's just too strong for the Cyprian defence. And that is 3-1. So that's going to be it for this game. We've beaten Cyprus by three goals to one. And we've basically got their best player again. I mean, it was a bit of a pointless game, but we had to do it to get Portugal. So we're going to get one of their starting 11 players. I highly doubt they're going to be like rated high enough to get on the squad. 
but let's have a look. Uh, right back, um, yeah, no, unfortunately not, Cyprus. Okay, so now we can actually go back to Portugal and try to get Ronaldo. I really hope this works. If it doesn't, then it'll be basically a waste of time going back and going against Portugal. Of course, we can still get like someone like Pepe or... Um, you know, charisma or something like that if we do the first team game. However, I want Ronaldo. Like, come on. Like, you, we just want Ronaldo, don't we? All right, so this match against Portugal is for a substitute player, not the first team. It is for substitutes, and then we can play them again for a first team player. The substitute's still pretty good. You know, again, I did think that we could get someone like Charisma as a substitute. I don't think he's part of the first team in this game. Last time I played against Portugal, it was a tough match. However, our team is a lot stronger now. So I think that we have the capabilities to beat them. Uh, okay, well, I was immediately humbled and Nani has scored to make it 1-0 to Portugal. Okay, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Benzema to Rooney. And Rooney gets a shot saved. Fantastic save by the goalkeeper. Over the top. Can Benzema get there? Surely he can. Yes, he can. Benzema on the ball. Into Rooney. Yes, there we go. It's 1-1. A bit cheesy, but who cares? It is a 1-1. I mean, this match is only for a substitute player as well. I mean, imagine if it was for the chance for a first team player. Portugal will be fighting for their lives if it was, you know, for the chance to get Ronaldo. Into the Rooney. Yes, come on. It's 2-1 and Rain Rooney has done it again. I love to see, like, the stats for these players. See how many goals they got and stuff like that. I reckon Rooney's probably got around about 50 goals. Probably even more than that, actually. Charisma has come off the bench for Portugal. That is one of the players that we could potentially get from the subs bench from this match if we win it. Portugal pressing. Oh, my defending there was atrocious, but... Oh! Portugal... I mean, my defending, like I said, it was a little bit atrocious, but, but the goalkeeper saved my bacon. The computer on this game, um, compared to, like, 2010 South Africa, Euro 2008, and even 2014 World Cup, they like to do skill moves against you on the higher difficulties. They, they'll do, like, um, ball rolls, they'll do, like, um you know, roulettes and stuff like that. It's like, hang on, why did they not do that in the other games? I don't know, it's weird. It's maybe FIFA 12 has some sort of different engine or something like that, I don't know. We might be able to squeeze by Portugal in this match, but of course the main match against them is coming up next for that starting player. And of course I really want Ronaldo. I don't know if I'll get him, but you know, we've got to try. We have to try it. And in this match, we've done really well to get this substitute player from Portugal. And I wonder who it is. Like I said, it could be Charisma. It could very well be Charisma. But hey, I mean, that's about as much as I know from the Portuguese bench. All right, let's see who it is. Who's the player? Ah, Silvio. Silvio, a right back. Okay, cool. You know what? You know what? Okay. That's cool. I'll replace Bruma with Silvio. Why not? That's not that bad. And now we can play Portugal for the final time. I am begging you, game. Give me Ronaldo. Please. I need him. Here we go then. Our third and final match against Portugal. Let's hope it's successful. Just beat him last time 2-1. It was quite a difficult match. After this match, I will be checking out Group X. Group X. I really want to see what you sort of get for it. You know, if you win the group. I know it's just a group of hosts, um, you know, Poland and Ukraine. But I'd like to see what you get from it. Surely there has to be some sort of ending to this DLC. You know, apart from collecting all the mosaic pieces, there has to be like, um, like an ending to it. Benzema on the ball for local FC to Rooney. Can he skip past these players? Yes, he can. And it's 1-0 to a Loco FC. And a Rooney has got the job done. What is that celebration? His head's just like, like flicking around. <laughs> what is that? 
just baited out the goalkeeper and put it underneath him for 1-0. Can it remain like this? And then we can get that starting 11 player from Portugal. There's still two nations I'd like to farm from this game. And that is Italy and Spain. Italy and Spain are still teams we haven't played against in this series yet. Portugal trying to press just before the halftime mark. Nani to Hugo Almeida. He is tackled. And oh, given away and thankfully caught by Carrasso in net. Portugal have had a few chances, but nothing really testing us as we go towards the halftime mark. We are halfway there to potentially getting Ronaldo. And I know that the game's not going to give me Ronaldo. I have a I have a nasty feeling it's not going to give me Ronaldo. But, oh, Rooney just scored just before halftime. And that is 2-0. But of course, you know, I know how these things work and um, I'll probably end up getting someone like Miguel Feloso or something like that, which would be really disappointing. But as we go into half time, it is 2-0 to local FC. Rooney were both the goals this time instead of Benzema. Here comes Portugal and just tackled. They haven't had many proper attempts on goal as we go into the 74th minute. Diara just wide on that occasion I think it's probably only going to end maybe a 2-0 or something we haven't been that clinical with our chances come on Benzema he's running can he put it into the middle oh Rooney what are you doing I wanted you to shoot not slide tackle it away as we approach the end of this match Ronaldo is going to be on the horizon. I'm going to be like clowned so hard if we don't get Ronaldo. I really will get clowned so hard if we don't get him. Because that will be so disappointing. Into Ozil. Oh, Ozil. Okay, well we could have got the third but it's okay. No problem, we're still winning. But yeah, um, I really hope so. If we don't, then at least give me Pepe as... Uh, some sort of like consolation or something either Ronaldo or Pepe I'll be happy with anyone else will be a little bit of a um, disappointment and that will be game over we have beaten Portugal for the third time and um, now we get the starting 11 player only a 2-0 but that's fine do not freeze on me game do not that'll be super irritating thank you very much all right the moment of truth the moment of truth who is it it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I could not. I can't believe that we have got, out of all the players, we got Patricio. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. Ruben Patricio is a good goalkeeper. But the game keeps giving me goalkeepers. I don't want goalkeepers. I want, like, def defenders, midfielders. And attackers, especially Ronaldo. That is not Ronaldo. <laughs> well, that was a huge disappointment for Loco FC. We travelled to Portugal, beat them twice, and we did not get Ronaldo out of the uh, three matches that we played. That is really, really disappointing. Now, I'm not sure if the game, basically, if I played Portugal 11 times, would I still get a... Um, you know, a starting 11 player from Portugal. But that's not really what I'm here for. I'm not going to play Portugal like 10 more times just to see if I can get Ronaldo. That's not the point. I want it to be random and stuff like that. So if I don't get Ronaldo, then I don't get Ronaldo, you know. When I played the Netherlands, I got Snyder. When I played Germany, I got Ozil. So either it's programmed that way or it's not. I don't know. Okay, to finish this video off then, we're going to check out Group X, which is the host. So we're going to play Poland and Ukraine just once in the end of this video, just to see what happens if you beat Group X. And um, I might return to Poland at least in the future because, you know, playing them three times, you could get Lewandowski. All right then, so we are playing the first host, which is Poland. And we are playing in the actual stadium for this one. Poland versus Loco FC in the National Stadium Warsaw. A lot of people ask me to check out Group X. So I feel it's a good time to do it. And Ozil has already got the ball. Mesa Ozil oh, he puts it wide. His shooting is so bad, man. Through ball to Benzema. This could be a chance to maybe get the first goal. And it's saved by the goalkeeper, Szczesny. I mean, it was a good move, but Rooney couldn't finish it. 
Rooney. Oh yes, there we go. A finesse shot into the bottom left hand corner to make it 1-0. I mean, finesse shot, a tail as old as time on this game from Rain Rooney. And that is 1-0. I mean, it's just super easy when you've got a 90 rated striker. I made the right decision at the start of this series by picking Rooney. You know, picking anyone else would have been just so difficult. But Rooney has literally carried this team around Europe. Company pokes it towards Rooney. Rooney is going for on goal. And it's nestled into the back of the net. What a great strike that was by Rooney. Company poked it towards him and Rooney could not be caught up. Finesse shot into the back of the net. 2-0. We'll be going to Ukraine after this match for sure to try and play against the other co-host. And there we go. We have just beaten Poland by two goals to nil. Rooney again with a double. So we've beaten Poland and now we can build a road to Ukraine. We've got a CDM called Goal. Um, do we want him? Probably not because we have better players. So, okay, we're going to get rid of him. And we can now advance to Ukraine. Okay, so this group is super easy. I think once we beat Ukraine, we'll beat Group X. And then we'll only have three more groups to play after this match against Ukraine. Here we go then. We're against Ukraine for this one. Another match against another host, of course. The other co-host. So let's see if we can beat Ukraine and beat Group X. Glenn Johnson. Oh, blocked, but still got it here. Come on. Still has it crossed in. And Benzema scores from the cross. And Glenn Johnson, the hustle play from him was fantastic. And Benzema has made it 1-0. Rooney. Oh, beautiful finesse shot. And that is 2-0. We'll definitely be winning this match. Ukraine don't seem as strong as Poland in this game. You know... That finesse shot was beautiful. Like Rooney was getting covered by another defender and still pulled off that finesse shot. So it's half time and Ukraine are 2-0 down against local FC. 45 minutes to play and then we'll beat this mini group with the host in it. I don't know if you get anything super special for it. Oh, through ball. And Malinsky is going through on goal. And oh, they messed up the sweat big time there. Could have got one back but it just didn't fall properly for Ukraine. Rooney pushing. Can he finish it off? He has finished it off. It's 3-0. And Ukraine are just... Well, they're falling apart. And Rooney has basically sealed the victory for local FC. Glenn Johnson to Rooney. He scores his fourth. And that is 4-0. Ukraine have been absolutely well beaten here absolutely well beaten just by Rooney himself pretty much and a bit of help from Benzema as well we'll be winning this group very very easy group against the two hosts you know they didn't put up that much resistance against us and there we go we've won another group this time group x with both the hosts in it and um well I mean we dominated Ukraine of course we can get a reserve player from Ukraine it's that guy there 70 rated guy not too bad to be fair um uh I mean you know what I'm gonna just I'm gonna reject him you know it's quite a high rated player to get for a reserve player but I'm gonna reject him anyway I mean I know there's Hal Mosi here as well um but Really, we're not really using our bench that much, to be honest. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. So, that's the host group done. And now, we've only got three more groups left to play. That's Group I, Group C, and Group B. Uh, group I has the likes of Liechtenstein, Czech Republic, Lithuania, Scotland, and Spain. So, the only team I really care about is Spain in that group. Um, I think the same situation again in Group C. You know, you've got... Faroe Islands, Northern Ireland, Estonia, um, Serbia, and uh, Slovenia, and Italy. So again, all I care about is the Italian players. And then Group B has basically the teams I don't really care about, really. I mean, Russia could be okay, but at this point in the series, they're not going to have any players that are better than the players that we have on the field. 
So yeah, tune in next time for part 11 of one of these groups. I imagine I'll probably try and take down group I so I can get the Spanish players on my squad. And if you did enjoy this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.